uh, BBG got fired in September of that. He was one of the guys who really helped you along in your transition, in your position switch. When you, you think back to the start of it, you know, in maybe January, February of 2014, what did his support kind of mean to you during that, that period? Yeah, well, through that time, obviously, you're pretty much failing every single day. Like, I'm coming, like, never backpedaled in my life, really. <clears throat> Didn't know much about defense, maybe just normal coverages. and uh, But yeah, you're pretty much coming in and failing every single day. So to have somebody like Coach Van Gorder, who is working you through that process and continuing to give you confidence and, hey, you're learning this today and you've improved here, and you know, but also at the same time pushing you. And, you know, Kyle McCarthy was another guy that really helped me and spend some time. So I think those coaches' presence and uh, their continuation to work with me gave me confidence through the process. How much did some of your other teammates, you know, at that point, whether it was Jalen or a Jared Grace or a Joe Schmidt, kind of help you through that transition too? I think a ton, right? Because I I never hit a sled, I never did like linebacker footwork, linebacker drills. So that stuff, finding comfort in that stuff, I think is where I found it more with Joe and Jalen and Jarrett, uh, guys like that that spent some time on, hey, like work this little step when you're going into this drill or. Uh, you, know, you know, try this technique when we're doing this part of practice. So I think that's what, where they really came in. So basically you, like the things you're talking about there, you didn't have any idea what you were doing, you know, in spring practice 2014, you know, how to hit a sled, how to do any of that stuff. It was all new for me. Uh, and I see myself as a pretty quick learner. So it, it came to me pretty quick and it was natural and it was a good transition, but obviously like I wasn't doing it like Jared Grace since you know, he was probably like four years old hitting a sled out in the backyard, so um, it was new. It was new. It was different than running routes all day, and uh, it was a different mentality, so they helped me with that a ton. You had a moment yet during the season to kind of sit back and reflect on, on your time here, or do you think that will come after the season? Yeah, you know, going into senior weekend, I think that's kind of coming uh, among a lot of us seniors, and, uh, and I try to once a week, just on Sundays, go down to the grotto with it if it's by myself or with Martini or anybody on the team and just kind of spend some time to think about how lucky I am to be at a school like this and uh, to have accomplished all that I did and have the opportunities that I have. So I try my best to do it once a week and just kind of really think about uh, how lucky I am. Where do you feel you've grown this year you know, in terms of your linebacking skills? Uh, you know, I think that before I was just the kind of do your job kind of guy. Uh, you know, I'd hold the edge, I'd fit my gap, um, I'd pressure when I was supposed to pressure, but I never really went on my way to make a play. Uh, I think this year, you know, I've been playing much more loose, much more flexible, and uh, it's shown with uh, the plays that I've been making. When you do leave this, this linebacking core, how confident are you in the guys who will be replacing you, specifically, uh, you know, a Niles Morgan and leading that group? Yeah, I mean, Niles is, is, is going to be a great leader, but also Greer Martini. I mean, that's a kid that comes to work every single day and shows the linebacker core how to work. Uh, you know, it's tough to come to practice, especially through a season like this, but Greer's been a guy that's backed me up on the energy, the execution. Uh, and people say, yeah, he can do a, play any position. He honestly comes to practice every day, works as hard as he can, and keeps other players accountable. So between those two guys, I've got all the confidence in the world that the linebacker room will uh, continue in the direction that it has. Thanks.